And so during Passover, there comes a Sabbath, and the Sabbath, some took it, as the, took it as the first day of Passover, others took it as the weekly Sabbath, but it doesn't matter, it all came together 2,000 years ago. So you have Passover, then you have the Sabbath of Passover, and then it says on the next day, so let's take it back 2,000 years, Messiah is crucified. It is Friday night, it is Passover. The next day is the Sabbath of Passover, either way. And so it says, on the next day after the Sabbath, you will take the first fruit and lift it up to the Lord. What does that mean? It means that Messiah rose from death on the day of the first fruit. On the day when the priests were taking this and presenting it to the Lord. What does that mean? Why is that? 1 Corinthians 15, listen to what Paul said. I'm reading from that same chapter. He says this, he all talks about the resurrection. He says, Messiah is risen from the dead, risen from death, and is the first fruit of those who sleep. 1 Corinthians 15, 23 says, each will be, he talks about it, will rise in his own turn. Messiah, the first fruit. Paul knows Hebrew. And Paul, when he says first fruit, he's saying reshit. And Paul, I don't know if Paul put it together or not. But the amazing thing is he's saying Messiah is the first fruit and it turns out that Messiah rose on the day of the first fruit. Now you know this is God because, first of all, to put it all together, secondly, if this was man, Paul would say, hey, look at this, look at the connection, look at what but he doesn't say a word about it. All he says is Messiah is the first fruit and it turns out that God has him rise when the first fruit is lifted up, is raised up from the earth to God. Interesting. It actually happens, the, the ritual of the first fruit could happen at the end of the Sabbath. It actually can begin as soon as the sun sets at night. That's when they take it up. And the next, next morning they lift it in the temple. But the thing is, so what that could mean is Messiah could have risen any time from the sunset of that Saturday. Any time. Because that is the first day of the week and it's the day of the first fruit. We don't know. I mean, he, we knew he was risen before they came early dawn. But here is the sign, and before we go and do it any further, we're going to partake in it right now. Everybody rise. It's still the message is going on, but you're going to be in the message. Everybody take your sheaf. Take your sheaf. This, you are holding in your hand the same exact thing that was held by the priests of Israel on that day. On the day of Messiah's resurrection. This is the sign of God of his resurrection. This is the barley sheaf. This is what they lifted up. And so we're going to say the blessing. Let's just pray. Just, just be with me in the spirit right now. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi et hareshit min haaretz v'chayim memavet le'amcha. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who brings forth the first fruit of the earth, Messiah, life from death to your people. This, as we pray right now, you're holding your hand, the symbol of the resurrection, of hope, of, of redemption. And as we lift it up, we want to give thanks to God as they did, but we're giving thanks for the fulfillment as they did. Let's give thanks for the new life. If you're born again, it is because of this that you are saved today. And Lord, we thank you today. And we thank you, Father, for all that you've done. And we thank you for a new life. And Lord, in this new life, Messiah is our first fruit. He is the first fruit of all blessing, of everything that's happened in our life. And that first fruit, in that we will rise in his rising and we will live in the power of his living and we will live victoriously in his victory and we will overcome in his overcoming in the name of yeshua jesus ha reshit the first fruit messiah of new life and, we, and then we just wave it before the Lord. That's how they did. We wave it, Lord, and we just, we, we just acknowledge this day that, Lord, our salvation is in this fact. And we praise you for life, life that is stronger than death. In his holy name, Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Everybody, now you can sit down. The message is still going on. You're part of it. All right. Reshit means the first fruit, but it also means the beginning. What does that mean? Messiah, his name in Hebrew is also, is Reshit. He is the first fruit and that means he is also, his name is the beginning. 
Why he is our new beginning. He is the new birth. The, the Rashid, when it goes up, is saying that there is a time of newness coming. There is a new beginning. And so Messiah becomes our new beginning. And if you're saved, you are born again because if that's the only way you can get saved, you must be born again, he said, to be saved. That is the new beginning. He rises on the day of the Rashid, because he, he is that. He rises on the day called the beginning, and because he is the beginning. And in what? That's the day. What month did he rise in? It has two names in Hebrew. The first is the month is called Aviv. Try it, Aviv. You, got, you know it because you hear, the, you hear the city Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. It mean, Aviv speaks of the green when this is just becomes ripe. Well, that, that's the Aviv time. When it's all about the grain. The month is called after this because it's when this just becomes ripe and it speaks of the ripeness. It means the really newness, freshness, ripeness, springtime. And when that month of Aviv comes to its middle day, 15th day, which is the full moon, that's the fullness, that's the day that this is lifted up to the Lord. And at the same time, Messiah rose at the middle of the month of Aviv, which means the power of newness, the power of springtime actually was under the full moon. It, it, it's at its fullness. And what, there's another name for this month. It's not just called Aviv. It's also called, it's a, you know it from the name of a car. It's called Nissan. Nissan. Why is it called Nissan? Nissan means literally the beginning. So he rises, he does everything in the month called the beginning. He rises on the day in the month called the day of the beginning because he is the beginning. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.